Next is the Wexler Intelligence Scale for Children, 5th edition, which is a measure of intellectual ability for children and adolescents ages 6 through 16. In addition to subtest scores, it provides a full-scale IQ score, five primary index scores, and scores on several optional ancillary and complementary index scales. The primary index scales are verbal comprehension, fluid reasoning, working memory, visual spatial, and processing speed. The subtests included in the ancillary and complementary index scales are used to obtain additional information about an examinee's cognitive abilities and assist with the assessment of learning difficulties. The Wexler Primary and Preschool Scale of Intelligence, fourth edition, is a measure of cognitive development for children ages two years, six months, through seven years, seven months. It provides subtest scores, a full-scale IQ score, and scores on primary index scales and optional ancillary index scales. The primary index scales are the same as those included in the WISC-5. For the exam, you want to memorize the highest and lowest primary index scores obtained by children and adolescents with ADHD, reading learning disorder, and autism spectrum disorder. Unfortunately, unlike the groups for the WACE 4, the highest and lowest index scores are not the same for all three of these groups, so you'll have to memorize each group separately. For example, children and adolescents with autism spectrum disorder obtain the highest average score on fluid reasoning and lowest average score on processing speed. Again, you don't have to memorize the actual scores, just the index names for the highest and lowest scores. <laughs>